everybody. It's Mike. We're back talking econometrics and Stata here at beautiful University of San Francisco. We just had one Stata command we want to talk about uh, in this little video, the put doc x command, which does exactly what it says it's going to do. It's going to put your Stata output into a nicely formatted Word document for you. Uh, so we had talked previously about some of the quick and dirty options of copying and pasting and uh, formatting and screenshotting your Stata output into a Word or a uh, Google Doc uh, format. Uh, so Stata 15 and higher uh, has a built-in command that will do a lot of that for you. Uh, so depending on the situation, this might be a really good option. I'm trying to get in the habit of using it, uh, and hopefully my students will as well. Um, so uh, topic of, a, of another discussion, but uh, when you're you know, running uh, a Stata session and you want to have uh, results that you can replicate later on, you know, it's a great idea to start things off by opening up a log file. Uh, well, this kind of has a, a similar feel to it, right? So if you know you're going to get some output that you're going to want to use, uh, you can use this command, put doc x begin, right? and that's going to start a uh, kind of behind the scenes uh, Word document uh, template, right? That then we can call up specific output and drop into. So we'll kind of see how that works. Uh, so one thing you can do, uh, and I don't find a whole lot of value in this uh, in most applications, is you can take text that you're typing into your status session and export that into a Word file. Um, we just look at that real quick here. Um, so we would start that off by put docx paragraph. Uh, so that's again telling Stata to okay, pay attention. The things that come after this, uh, we can put into a uh, specific format into a Word document, uh, and then just say we had a specific uh, position, say between uh, tables or graphs, etc., in our Word document where we wanted to put some specific text. Uh, so we can use this call up here, put docx text, and then make sure you have a space, and then in parentheses, sorry, in parentheses and in quotes. Whatever you type in here will show up exactly as you type it in in your Word document, right? So, hello, obviously, we'll do something a little more interesting. Um, but the real value here is going to be formatted tables put into a uh, into a Word document. So to do that, well, we need to we need some data here to to play around with. Uh, so let's call up. One of our example data sets, so let's say we'll use the web use command and ps id extract. So again, we've got household uh, wage and occupation data here, and say we want to run a regression of log wage as a function of number of weeks uh, that the individual works, and we have our regression output here as it comes up. Uh, and let's say we want to export kind of the, the meat of this table. Uh, into a Word document. So we have put docx, again, that prefix, table, and then we can name the table, table1 equals etable. So that just says, okay, this is going to be the, the most recent table in uh, state of memory. Right, and we can just call that right up. And again, we don't see anything here, but behind the scenes, that output is being formatted and put into table format in a Word document. And say we have uh, an alternative specification, right? So we bring up the uh, the regression command here. And say we add in a new variable, say the level of, of education. And just so we can kind of see the difference, as you can imagine, there's lots of options uh, in terms of formatting what these tables are going to look like, what to include for all the details, right? Check your stated documentation under put doc x. Uh, but this is enough to get us started. So if we call up the border option and then just some empty parentheses. We'll see what that's going to look like. Uh, and then to kind of end the session and, and give us a, a file that we can open up, right? so we do put doc x save, and then we want to save this as a, a specific file name, call it example one. And uh, you can specify a, a particular path, a particular folder where you want this output saved. The default in a Windows uh, operating system is it's going to put it in your uh, documents folder. 
and full disclosure, I'm not sure where this is going to end up on a Mac. Um, uh, but when in, when in doubt, you can just call the file something very, very specific and then search for it, uh, and you'll find it uh, when, you, when you look for it. So we can just do put docx save, whatever we want to call it, and there we go. And then go to the destination folder, and again in uh, Windows, it's going to be that documents folder. And there it is, example one. And everything we said to do, it did, right? So our innocuous text, our table one, our table two. Um, and note, right, there's a lot of output here missing, so it gives us our coefficients and our hypothesis testing results. As you can imagine, again, there are options to call up, well, I want the adjusted R squared, I want the F statistic. Um, we can do that as well. Uh, we also have the option, of course, of uh, exporting anything in table format from Stata, right? So summary statistics, um, it's all going to work out the same way. Um, and you can also directly export graphs into Stata. I kind of feel the same way about text, right? I'd rather just kind of do that on my own. So with a graph, you can open it up in Stata, you can edit it, uh, and then you could just copy and paste it right into your open Word document. But for tables, I think this is a great way to do it. Uh, so hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, if you found it found it helpful, let me know. Uh, hit hit like and subscribe, as they say. Uh, but definitely, if uh, if there's any additional information you would like or additional topics uh, that you'd find helpful to be covered, let me know about that. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.